The mega drought in the southwest shows no signs of easing up. It has already prompted cutbacks of the Colorado River water and more cuts could be coming. But are golf courses needlessly wasting precious water supplies? Many of you have asked this of us online as the drought gets worse. Arizona is home to more than 300 golf courses. Joe Dana verifies whether closing golf courses would alleviate the water shortage. To answer this question, we spoke with three sources, the Kyle Center for Water Policy, the City of Phoenix Water Department, and the Arizona Department of Water Resources. Vibrant green golf courses are scattered across Arizona, making our state a golfer's paradise. But are golf courses using up precious water supplies? I think if you looked at like the golf industry in the city of Phoenix and you compared it to every other commercial and industrial customer, as well as HOAs, things like that, um, they don't stand out. Cynthia Campbell of the city of Phoenix says golf courses are working with the city to find ways to save water. And in some cases, they use alternative non-potable water sources. In the entire state, the golf industry uses only about 1.3% of the amount of water Arizona is allotted from the Colorado River. That's still a lot of water. But compared to the agriculture industry, for example, which uses about 70% of the state's Colorado River water, it's a small fraction. There's something else to consider when you talk about cutting off water entirely to golf courses, says the director of the Kyle Center for Water Policy. For one thing, we probably wouldn't want to have a dust bowl. We would want to keep using the, the land that golf courses take up. Golf courses aren't just outdoor playgrounds. They provide benefits to wildlife and native vegetation. That's not to say golf courses won't be asked to do their part. State regulators released a plan asking some large courses to reduce water use by as much as 20 percent within four years. It's also possible the city of Phoenix will ask golf courses to take sharper measures in the future. If things get worse, we would look to them and talk to them about what we can work do to work together. But for now, 12 News can verify cutting off water to golf courses entirely would not make a significant difference in alleviating Arizona's water shortage. And experts say there would be an environmental downside to doing so as well. If you have something you'd like us to verify, submit to us your verify question at 12news.com forward slash verify. Joe Dana, 12 News.